I think, I, I think in, in uh, the first innings, uh, and, and you rightly said, first innings was very poor. It was an unacceptable batting performance. Um, and I'm not one to ever look for excuses. It, it was like we were batting at the Wanderers and Centurion in terms of tempo. We hadn't, we, we hadn't changed our tempo to batting in the subcontinent, to coming back and batting in Sri Lanka, where it's all about patience. It's about trusting your technique. It's about trusting your game plan. It's about wearing the opposition down and grinding away. We got that in the second innings after we had a long, hard chat after our performance day one and spoke about how we were going to make it better. And, and the, guys, the guys responded very, very nicely in the, in the second innings. But it was too late. You know, even if we get 220 in our first innings, um, we, we keep ourselves massively in the game. So, so that's, that's where, where, where it was lost. That was disappointing, but we put it right in the second innings. Yeah, look, look, I, I think, you know, it, we, we could say that, and sure, we probably weren't as consistent as we should have been. I think, apart from Dilran, I, I think with, with Lasith and, and, and Wanadu, um, we've got to be a little bit patient. This, this was Lasith's eighth, eighth test match. It's Wanadu's third test match. It's his first in the subcontinent. So, so we, we, we've got to be a little bit patient. I think they gold. I think they'll be very good. Um, they've got to learn to be more consistent, 100% right. But I think we need to give them time. They're still very, they're still very young in, in these conditions. So, um, you know, I'll back them in uh, 100% because I think they will just get better and better. But your point is right and your point is well made. Uh, look, at, at, at this stage, unlikely... But we'll see over the next couple of days. It's uh, you know, the injury toll coming out of South Africa is was was massive. So he's he's probably unlikely, but we'll make a decision in the next day or two. It's 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 uh, for for me, you know, it feels like I've been in Sri Lanka a long time, um, but this is only my third series. So I'm finding out about our players under pressure. I'm finding out about uh, about players' uh, structures and game plans in a test series in the subcontinent for the first time. So um, it's very, the, the focus for me is very much firmly on, on, on our team. And, and, and I, was, I was very happy with what I saw on days three and four. You know, we can't give up a test match like we did on day one uh, again and expect to get a positive result. But the fight and the, the, the way the players adapted to the tempo, particularly with batting, they adapted to the tempo of batting in the subcontinent. They, they, they got their game plan spot on. So I take a lot of positivity out of days three and four, but day one and two are unacceptable and can't happen again for us to move forward in these conditions. Yeah, look, uh, uh, that, that, that's, that, that's a good point. You know, uh, we, 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 we stuck between... Um, and, and certainly for me, I, 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 we're trying to develop a team, trying to develop a team that can play in all conditions. So we used Dasun, I thought, fairly well in South Africa as, as very much as our fourth seamer, um, a batting all-rounder, if you like. When in does our spin bowling all-rounder. And, and, and I think with Dunajaya De Silva, when, when he comes back into the team, he kind of gives us that balance. So, so we, we, we were just searching... Just a little bit, a little bit for, for, for that right balance, and that's something we'll 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 have to look at. But again, I say, you know, these these are young guys. They 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 young men finding their way in Test cricket. I think they're very talented. I think they've got they're showing a lot of promise. And I think these guys we just need to give time to. You know, the more experienced guys haven't got time. Uh, the, the 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 young players that we've identified. We're putting a hell of a lot of work into them every day to make them better and better. And these are the guys that I think are the best in the system and guys that we can carry forward. But overnight, they're not going to become those that, that, that instant sensation. Wanadu's not going to be the bowler at the moment in test cricket that he is in, in 2020 or white ball cricket. Simply because he's still working out his game. He's still, he's still finding out how to bowl in test cricket. He's still... He's still uh, trying to realize the value of patience, the realize of stringing spells together, you know, the, re uh, the realization of, of setting batsmen up. So that's not going to happen overnight. But these guys have got an abundance of talent. And the only way they're going to get better is to keep playing them and keep playing them in pressure situations.
I'll keep reaffirming. I think I think Crystal Mendes is a wonderful player. I think Crystal Mendes will score a lot of runs in the future for Sri Lanka. I'll, I'll make a decision over the next. He's been under pressure, of course he has. You know when 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 you haven't performed, um, uh, he, he you know and, and and we we spoke long and hard about him playing in this Test match. We thought coming back into into um, local familiar conditions might just trigger it for him. So that's a discussion that that, that we'll have in the, in 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 the next day or two. Um, but you're right; he, he is under pressure. International batsmen, you know, when you're not scoring, are, are, are always under the pump. And I guess it's how you come out of that that's that's um, that's the key. So as a leadership as a leadership group, we'll 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 sit down and make that decision in the next day or two. I've heard all the all the rhetoric that's gone with with Lahiri Tiramani, you know. But since I've I've worked with him. Um, all I've seen is a is a player that works incredibly hard at his game. He's a player that's got a really good technique. Um, I don't know what's gone what's gone before. I, I I can only talk about what I've seen. I thought when we called him and we took him to South Africa because we felt as a reserve batsman he was a player that played fast bowling fairly well. I thought he played the quicks well at 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 the Wanderers. We want him to turn those thirties into hundreds. Um, and he came out here, and he and he and he proved his worth. You know, he's a very he's a very um, hardworking, likable team member. So to see him get a hundred for me was 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 really nice, and just rewards for a lot of effort that he's put in over the last couple of months with his batting. As I say, what's gone before, I don't know. And I said to every one of the players when I came in that it's it's a new book. It's a it, we draw a line through what you've done in the past. It's what you're going to do going forward that matters to me. And all I've seen from Tiramani is a guy that's, um, that's, that's very dedicated, extremely hard at his game, has got a good defense, which is one of the qualities of test match batting. And, and I was really, really happy to see him put it all together there in the second innings. But to answer the first one with, with, with Dussin, our structure and game plan coming into this test match was because because we we only had three quick bowlers available uh, for this test. Saranga Lakmal and Lahiru Kumara didn't have the workloads to be available. They are now available for test two. They re they they ready to go. So we only had um, Asita, we had Drushi Chamira and and Vishwa uh, uh, available for this test. Our thought process was very much around the conditions. We thought playing the three spinners was going to what, what was go, when we looked at at the wicket. Playing three spinners was going to be our best chance of getting twenty wickets with using a seater as 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 the, as the quick bowler to to angle it into the pads and to bowl wicket to wicket, which he which he did and and, and did quite well. Um, and we thought Dustin could be that second that second seamer. As a guy that just held the game and went stump to stump with uh, with guys in front of the bat, just to just to give us uh, our spinners a, 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 a breather, as it were. You know, conditions were were totally different to they were in South Africa. So our attacking options were our spin, whereas in South Africa our attacking options were our seam bowler. So that so that was a little bit around around that game plan, particularly with Dustin having the ability to bat as well at at seven. As an all-rounder, we thought it created a little bit of depth in our batting as well. Um, just around Wanadu, I think I think for Wanadu, Wanadu knows the pace he needs to bowl in 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 white ball cricket. Um, he knows when and how to use his googly. He's also any leg spinner will tell you that aided by the fact that batsmen need to take them on in white ball cricket, which increases the risk uh, for the batsmen, increases their risk of of, of getting wickets. Whereas in Test cricket, it's about patience, it's about controlling the game, it's about working batsmen out, which might take three or four overs. So those are all the skills that 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 Wanadu needs to get in Test cricket. But for sheer ability, he's as good as I've seen yeah, from a from a quick bowler, I mean, from a spin, uh, from a leg spinner. Yeah, he certainly reminds me very much of Shadab Khan. When Shadab Khan came on the scene, and, and and we went through exactly the same uh, process with Shadab was was around him having to understand the importance of 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 putting spells together. So it's a process with Wanadu. The natural talent he's got in abundance. 
We've just got to work a little bit on his game plans and the mental side of playing Test cricket. I'm looking for a lot more of the same. Um, I, I think we, we're looking for, for for batsmen, particularly in the first innings, to go big. We need somebody to, to get a big score. We know the wickets out here are tough to start on. Once you get in, you've got to capitalise, just like Joe Root did, uh, did, did for England, which which was the difference in the game, really. Um, we, 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 need, we need them to go on. I thought Angelo Matthews' innings yesterday was, was just superb in these conditions. I thought the way he applied himself, the tempo of his innings, his game plans, I, th I, I just thought that all our young batsmen just needed to watch the way he went about his business to know how to bat on a, on a turning wicket. So hopefully that's lessons learned. We want, we want those those batsmen to go big. We want hundreds. Lahiru Tiramani got one for us in this test. We got 60s out of, out of KJP and 60s out, out of Angelo. We need those guys now to go big and to get some big scores. For premium content and exclusive member benefits, subscribe to thepopper.com today.